through friends who brought me to a, a Monday night low mass uh, in Brisbane at Kangaroo Point. Uh, that was what, some six years ago. Um, my first experience, uh, at first I was quite um, troubled by uh, obviously the language barrier, you know, the, the Latin, um, um, not so much at a reentum, but, but just the whole foreign nature of the whole thing. Um, so, uh, after being, after a while being troubled by, by this whole thing, not being able to follow along, trying to follow with a missile and so on, I just offered my my incapacity, if you will, to to God, and often, you know, my intellect, and that He would give me um, the light to to you know get something out of this uh, experience, and I just sort of let myself go, and eventually He gave me the grace to understand that you know it's not about me or what I can get out of it, and eventually I understood that you know. It's in Latin, so what? You know, I'm not going to understand it anyway. If it's in English, it's so much beyond me, just the mass itself. So, whether it's in Latin or not, so uh, I suddenly understood it. I, I had a complete, uh, I don't know, would you say, a paradigm shift. Uh, you know, completely turning to the Lord, uh, sort of. You have to, to get out of yourself um, and, and face east with the priest um, and, and look beyond you know what you can get out of it. Well, yes and no. Um, well, when I found the Latin Mass at a time where I started to, to deepen in my faith and um, well the Latin Mass really aligned well with my newfound understanding of the, of the Mass and um, I found that I struggled um, to focus on what the Mass was about um, in often banal liturgies that I attended before that but when I found the Mass the old mass, I instantly connected with it um, after, uh, as I mentioned earlier, sort of adjusting to the differences um, because it highlighted the intrinsic aspect of the mass. It was, it was really theocentric. We are in well, certainly. Um, the thing is about the the Latin Mass is that at first it's more demanding, but it, it unlocks all these treasures. It's it's like you know lifting lifting this this false floor that was covering all these amazing treasures, and, and it just unlocks everything. You know everything becomes connected. Um, you know you, then you you come into contact with with um, the office, the divine office, and so on. So it's a whole, it's a whole package um, that that really um, begs for more commitment um, in in the Christian life, um, and really um, pushes you towards heaven. Um, it's a it's a real call to conversion. So. Um, if you do get a chance, definitely go to the Latin Mass. It'll definitely enrich your faith. Um, even if you have to go to the Mass um, more than once to, to really get it at first. Um, also keep in mind that there's more than one way to follow the Old Mass because there's so many different things happening at once. You know, especially if it's a sung Mass. Um, while the choir is singing, you know, the proper chants of the day, uh, the priest is doing his, his own prayers and the servers are doing their own thing. It, it's really beautiful. Um, just let yourself be overwhelmed by the beauty of it. Um, it's so multi-layered. Um, 
So don't necessarily pick up a, a missile and try and follow along every word of the Latin. It might be a bit difficult at first. And you'll find that it requires more effort, but it'll, it'll nourish you so much more. You know, with the treasures of, of the faith, and 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 you know, um, ask you to, to commit more. It, it, it begs a, a stronger commitment to, to the faith.